Hello and welcome everybody. I goes by the name Ochenga Jr. and I always show people ways to make money online, be it transcription, captioning, taking surveys and all different ways to make money online while seated at home. Now in this video I'm going to focus on transcription and the company that I'm going to look here is God Transcript. Now what I'm going to do here I'm going to show you how you can apply for an account and get with the transcript transcription company first of all what we are going to do is i'm going to show you the answers to the question test that you are going to be given so that if you pass the question test that you've been given then now you can go and get an audio to transcribe and submit for review so that you see if you can get an account now for you to come to this page the, right, the, the one that you are seeing on on your screen right now what you need to do is go to your google and type godtranscript.com that thing that you see on your screen just type uh, just type godtranscript.com then you hit enter after hitting enter it will bring you to this page once you are in this page what you need to do just scroll scroll down yeah scroll down and come and click here join as a transcriber you join as a transcriber yeah so after clicking join as a transcriber there is a short video that they'll tell you to click and watch the video yeah that one you can watch on your time uh, as you apply for an account but guys before you do that uh you have to come to guidelines this is now got transcript guideline you have to come to this go transcript guideline read the guideline after reading the guideline yeah after reading the guideline or uh, what you need to do uh understand the guideline then uh after you have understood the guideline just come back here uh, and click where it's written apply now now after clicking apply now it will bring you to this page that is apply for transcribers position now to apply for transcriber position you must complete quiz 100 percent correct using our guidelines you can click the guidelines that i show you initially you can click it here so that it take you to the guidelines uh, as a reminder what they're telling you here each question can have one or more correct answers now these are the answers to the question dash question one dash good friends dash good friends so what we are going to see here is question a is wrong because we can't say they are good friends so let's go to question uh, answer number two answer number two is correct they they are good friends yeah they are good friends uh, let's go to number next number question answer c they are good friends yeah so choice choice a is wrong let's go to the next one number two she said dash she said dash choice a is wrong ah she, she, she said i am 27 that is wrong because this this person is you are saying a direct speech now a direct speech must be in quotes now uh, she said b they put a colon that is wrong that is not if you read the uh, google uh, i mean if you read the guidelines you won't be told that you put a, go, uh, a colon while answering this question so question b is wrong the, i mean answer b is wrong then number uh, answer c is also wrong reason being there is no a uh, full stop here here you find there is a full stop but they were to put a comma but this one was to be correct if they had put comma here then Choice C is wrong because there is no punctuation. Now, uh, let's look at choice D. Choice D is correct. Uh, she said comma. Then you put, you, you, you open speech. I am 27. Full stop. Then you close it. Now, this is the correct answer. Then let's go to number number three. Because it has got 10 uh, questions. You have to answer them correctly. Is when you will be allowed to do the job how to do the, the the transcription test then number three number three is saying do you have to transcribe status for verbatim so i think choice a is correct 
just it's a yes aha uh -huh. for instance i i am um, blah 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 now for status you use something of this form you use something of this form i i because it's a starter you use an hyphen now for you to search such kind of stuff what you need to do is uh because you have got full uh verbatim or uh let me search for starter as a keyword here i'll come to the guidelines uh this is the guideline i'll come to the guidelines and paste it here so that i see yeah status now this is how status are being written this way uh-huh and you see here there wasn't a space but right here there is a space choose then uh, no no status you don't put a space it is you don't put a space reputation is where you put a space i went then don't put a space initially then after putting a hyphen you put a space now that is how to search for uh to search for terms in a guidelines now let's go back so we said uh, answer a is correct let's go to number four number four the extermination will cost dash two section ah uh, let's see which one is correct because that is very simple uh, will consist of a two uh, of a dash that is for a is wrong from two section that is wrong that is choice b uh, Mm, it jumped yeah it jumped uh two uh, will will consist of two or of of two section that is number four let's go to number five i met does in luthenia L luthenia uh, luthenia very hard to pronounce it so choice a is correct i met jane in luthenia reason being jane b choice b is with all capitals then choice a uh, choice c is with <laughs> small j now a name name of a person you have to start with a capital letter let's go to number six which sentence stroke sentences is or are correctly capitalized and punctuated now uh, we have got two choices here jack tried a new diet but still gained weight that is correct then number choice b is also correct jack tried a new diet but still gained weight comma that is correct uh, uh, choice uh, choice c is not correct uh, choice d is also not, not correct being they have got they started a sentence with small letters then let's go to the next number that is number seven my eyes dash blue my eyes was blue that is incorrect my eyes are are blue my eyes because this is a plural thing the eyes is plural uh, that is choice b that is correct then number eight is which tags should be used we should be bolded i mean which tags should be bolded uh -huh. now what you need to do here is uh, because choice choice a is the correct one now what you need to do is come and search the word bolded come and copy the word bolded and come to your guidelines and search when i come and search the word bolded now which thing should be bolded everything with the timestamp e.g pause blah 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 until until intelligible uh inaudible should be bolded uh-huh nothing else besides speaker labels and marks with timestamp so the thing that should be bolded we have been told here now we come here everything with the time star time scored blah 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 are the things that should be bolded you see ah uh, the next thing that should be bolded is choice e which is speaker labels the one that we were told there so number eight is choice a and choice e let's go to number nine how should you mark an incomplete at an incomplete thought due to change of thought or incomplete sentence that is full verbatim how should you mark an incomplete thought uh, let's see the correct answer the correct answer a is not correct b is not correct c is not correct d is not correct the choice and the correct one is choice e i would like to go to colombia uh, 
double hyphen without putting a, a space between the last uh, uh, the, the last word double hyphen then hyphen after putting double hyphen then you put space then you continue you see that is how it's being written you see this one is correct because there is a space both ends this one is incorrect because there is space space then space again in complete uh, wrong then this one change of thought but just put a full stop then continue this one is wrong because there is space space but now this is the correct one you don't put a space in between first hyphen and the last one now and also only just put a space between a hyphen and the first word that is static let's continue that is to number 10 what is the correct form of addressing in the national dialogue now the correct form of uh, inter internal dialogues now what you need to do is just come here and because the keyword here is internal dialogues come to your uh, uh, how do you call these your balance then paste it uh -huh. internal dialogues are seen as direct quotation as well example blah 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 what if i can't mark it now what you need to do is uh, this you, you have to do something of this form uh, uh, quote, meaning you you quote it punctuation also being quoted into everything now this is how it is the choice the correct one is b then i told myself what if i can't make it exactly how it is in the guidelines if you can see here what if i can't make it now let's see now once you are done with the uh, uh, with the, these and you make sure you've completed it a hundred percent you've scored everything and pass hundred percent then you confirm your answers once you've confirmed your answers I'll, I'll, I'll minimize this I'll minimize it yeah so once you've completed everything like right now how you can see once you've com completed everything you come here and click confirm so once I click confirm it will bring me direct to this audio is used for the transcriber test and close So after bringing me to this page, all I'll need to do is listen to this audio, then type it here. Type everything down here. Now, what I'm going to do right now is uh, I'm going to download this video. I'm going to click here. I'm not, not video. I'm going to download this audio. I'm going to click here. Then I'm going to download it. So the download, it is downloading already. So after download is complete, I can uh, go to uh, guidelines so that I get familiar as my, with myself with guidelines or I can come to tool setting here so that I get to edit this file in a good way. Now what I need to do is, uh, the reason I still have downloaded this file, I'm going to take it to uh, 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 audio to text conversion tools. The, the, the tool that I'm going to use is called otter.ai. So once I've completed converting it and editing it, I'll come and paste it here. So let me do that and I'm going to show you how that is being done. Now, the tool that I was talking about is uh, otter.ai. When you go to Google search, you come and search otter.ai. Home, it will bring you to this page. Now, what you need to do is just come and click here import because initially we've already downloaded the, uh, the file or the audio. So when I come here, I'll just come here and click browse files so it's going to show me the file that I want so when I click browse files yeah there is a file that is bringing me here but since that one is not being recorded you won't see now I'll come and click uh, the transcriber audio that I've downloaded now I'll just open it now here it is it is uploading the, the, the file is just 3.25 MB uh -huh. after completing right now you can see uh, the audio is being transcribed yeah so transcribing the audio so i'll i'll wait so that it's being it's being transcribed after that i'll transcribe it then i'll go and paste it on the other end now let's let's wait and see yeah so it's still processing so once it's done i'll i'll show you uh, once it's done, I'll, I'll transcribe it, then we go and paste it the other side. Now, 
once it's done it will look something of this form of this sort here yeah, of this sort and also it's it has given me speaker separations now if i want to edit it because maybe the audio wasn't that clear i'll just come and edit it in this form i'll come and click edit uh, yeah I'll come and edit it in this form. It's telling me to refresh the page. Let me try refreshing so that I see if it's going to bring me what I want. Yeah, so I'll come and click edit. Yeah, so it's it has given me something of this form. Now I'm just going to start editing it. Then we are going to take it back to where we should submit it for a review. Now, let me start editing. Well, Steve, um, I'd like to ask you how your day was. I understand you had some problems with a, a machine. Was I understand you had some problems with a, a machine? Can you tell me? I understand you had some problems with a, a machine. Can you tell me about it while I do the dishes? While I do the dishes? Thank you for uh, telling me all. Thank you for uh, telling me all about your. Well, thank you for uh, telling me all about your. Well, thank you for uh, telling me all about your day. And I'm sure that the. I'm sure that the future transcribers of GoTranscript will appreciate it as well. This audio is used for the transcriber test at GoTranscript. This audio is used for the transcriber test at GoTranscript. So once we are done transcribing our file in Otter.ai, we come back to where we were supposed to submit our file for review. Then we paste it here. So after pasting it here, all you need to do is uh, you need to listen to this file, whether it is accurate or not, then you submit it. So let's listen to it so that we see what This audio is used for the transcriber test at GoTranscript. Okay, well, Steve, um, I'd like to ask you how your day was. I understand you had some problems with a, a machine. Can you tell me about it while I do the dishes? Just start talking. So, not the correct value. And then, coupled with that, the, uh, the timing on the waiting time. Sure, I'm not one of the nine. Out, I must be the one out of the ten that doesn't. Okay. Uh, so the nine other people that do. That could be. Well, thank you for uh, telling me all about your day, and I'm sure that the future transcribers of Go Transcript will appreciate it as well. This audio is used for the transcriber test at Go Transcript. So if you can see, we have done everything correct. So we're just going to submit it so that we see whether we are going to get. As we expect whether we are going to get a good result so some things to know here uh, for you to escape uh, uh, for you to play or pause you uh, you hit escape on your keyboard f1 is to skip back two seconds f2 is to skip back, uh, skip forward two seconds then you just come here and see these things how they work uh, speakers control plus x to uh, put a speaker speed yeah so that's it so thank you very much for watching let's now submit it so that we see if we are going to get this thing okay now what i what you need to know once you send the you want to send us want to send the voter script team the completed test the resume process can take up to 60 days once our team checks your text you will get an email letting you know whether you pass or not so let's submit it but all, sometimes it takes up to five days three days but maximum days is six days that is two months but you need all you need to do is just be patient and wait let's see let's submit it so that we see so thank you and uh maybe if there's something that i i didn't tackle well you can just comment below so that i explain to you in the comment section everything if you follow it step by step you're going to do the you're going to get this text let's see so i've hit send for review 
so <coughs> let me see yeah i've hit set for review so let's wait and see what the result will be you have finished the test wait while we check it we will send you an email with your result thank you and be blessed as you work this out let's meet on the next video i gospel the name of tenga jr